with you here at Studio Gear, studiogears.com. Again, with a super, super awesome half stack here by Angold. The head here is the Savage 60 Mark II. It's all tube head, two output tubes, six smaller preamp tubes. Uh, the bottom slant cabinet here is uh, model number E412 Pro. It's got 412 Celestians in there, 30 watt Celestians. And uh, it's, it could be ran in mono or stereo. There's all kinds of different configurations that you can run the head with the cabinet. You can run it 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, mono, stereo, all kinds of different things that you can do with this amp, all these different controls. I'll bring you in closer in a minute here, and we'll check it all out. But first, I just want to go over the four channels this guy's got one clean channel, two crunch channels, and a distortion channel or lead channel. So let's check out the clean channel first. And here we go. Check out the crunch channel. Crunch channel number one. having too much fun. Let's go to ch Crunch Channel number two. Distortion Channel. I want to bring you in closer and we'll take a closer look at these controls. All right, so here we have the Engo Savage 60 Mark II head. You can see there's a lot of controls. Uh, there's even more stuff in the back there. I'll explain that later. But for now, uh, just think of this top row here as the clean channel and your crunch channel number one crunch one and then down here is your crunch two and your lead channel now over here 
is your uh, two different presents and it works for all four channels and you have two master volumes and it, that also works for all four channels so think of this as a four channel head you got one clean two crunches and a lead again uh, clean and crunch one is on your top crunch two and your lead channel is on your bottom here so to select these channels uh, you use these buttons here you see that that's on clean here's crunch one there's crunch two that's lead so here's the clean channel and you can see you could shape all of your tones right here you got your treble your mid uh, you got two different mids here and your bass it's got a contour here the contour is on let me turn the contour off like it on and here's like a pre it's something called pre-shape for your clean and crunch channel it's got a bright button make it more bright yeah you hear it it's got a so these bigger controls here is got a is your clean gain gets a little, little, little distorted if you turn it all, all the way up. Okay, That don't work right now because we're not in crunch one. Okay, But if we do go to crunch one, that, see, that's the game for crunch one. See? So. Here's crunch two. Here's that's the game for crunch too. It's got like a it's got like a low and high for the gain here. And then again it's got your EQ, bass, mid, treble, and something called tone balance. It's got a button ho over here called Round Smooth. Let's hear what that smooth sounds like. <laughs> so a lot of different tones that you can get. Let's go to the lead channel. And he here's your lead gain here. thing about it is got a noise gate it's on right now see if, if I didn't have it on you would hear all that noise there which is very common when you're in the distorted channel you hit this noise gate and uh, it goes away and there's a noise gate control in, in the back of the amp here we'll get to that later but yeah there's a lot of stuff this right copy I'm not quite sure what that is I think it's some type of MIDI thing but over here you know you have your master volumes Let's go to the clean channel. See, here's master volume A. It's, it's not on right now because I'm over here on, on master volume B. If I went to A, we changed over to this volume. Okay. Same with the presence. I'm on presence B right now. If I went over here, I'd be on presence A turn presence A down and B up. So presence A, presence B. So you see there's a lot of controls and uh, you can shape your sound. You can shape a lot of different sounds out of this, this head here. So let's turn this thing around and go over some of the stuff that it's got in the back there. 
All right, so this is the back of the amp here. You have some MIDI stuff over here, MIDI through, MIDI in. This is like some MIDI controller stuff. Here's your foot switches to control your channel switching and your your amp contour. Here's your noise gate controls how much noise gate you need. You got your effects loops here, uh, effects loop one and effects loops two. You got two effects loops, send and return, and they're both balanced. And then if you look over here, you got all kinds of different outputs uh, for for running 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, and whatnot, stereo or mono. And uh, yeah, so that's it. It's a killer, killer amp. All right, so uh, man, Google here. Thanks for checking out the amp with me, and uh, hopefully you like it. And come buy some stuff here at Studio Gear, StudioGears.com. I'll see you later.